do not buy a Tesla if you're an introvert because you're not going to be left alone. I have to say it's very interesting to me. You know, I've had many different vehicles, sports cars, trucks, sedans, whatever it is, and very few of them draw as much attention as the Tesla does. Even today, you'd think, you know, the Tesla's been out for a while, but it's still kind of a novelty vehicle, right? And people want to know. You know, I still go to the gas station, obviously not to get gas. I'll run in, grab a snack, maybe grab a Mountain Dew, uh, a tea, whatever it is. By the way, did you know down here in South Texas, a lot of the gas stations actually have like little mini restaurants inside. You can go in and you can get something to eat. They're cooking it on a griddle in there, hot food. A lot of people go for lunch. Yeah, I've done it a couple times myself. So, I still go to gas stations where obviously there's a lot of traffic, people running in and out. And I will say that I do park next to the pump. I'm one of those people that'll pull in next to the pump, and this is terrible, I know, because I don't need gas in any fashion. But I pull next to the pump just to keep my car away from other people, right? I don't pull right up to the parking spaces at the gas station because I don't like people pulling in next to me because people just don't care. They'll ding your doors, rub up against your car, pet peeve of mine drives me nuts. I know it's terrible. I know I'm taking up a space. You know, there's nothing worse than when you do need to get gas, all the bays are full, somebody pulls up or is already there in front of you, gets out and walks into the gas station. Now, maybe they're paying with cash, prepaying before they get gas. I don't know, but it drives me nuts. Anyway, I'm at the gas station. Shortly after I first got the car, I pull up and, and I get a comment. Well, that's a Tesla. You don't need gas. Why are you pulling up here? Uh, that kind of goes with my story there in the beginning. But beyond that, people ask, how is it? Are you afraid of running out of electricity? How is it charging at the superchargers? You know, if you're going on a trip or something. Now, for me, and I've mentioned this in other videos, I don't take the car on long distance trips or anything, so I really can't respond to that other than hearing reports of other people pulling into superchargers, or we just had an instance with a cold snap uh, in a part of the country where there were tons of Teslas sitting because they wouldn't charge. The stations wouldn't work or the cars were running out of juice because it was so cold that they were using power more quickly. Another reason why I don't take my car on long distance trips. But people ask, they want to know how it is, what's it like, What's the reliability of it? Have you had any issues with it? And most recently, you know, Tesla had announced that they were laying off like 10% of their workforce. That's a lot of people, right? And you get questions about, well, are you concerned that Tesla's gonna go out of business? They're having problems. They're laying off a bunch of people. Does that worry you? Because it is a, uh, a specific vehicle and who else out there is going to be able to troubleshoot or do repairs and things like that if Tesla doesn't exist anymore. Well, first of all, I don't think that's going to happen. I think Tesla is just too big to fail now. You know, it's kind of like Ford and uh, Chevy and GM and those companies a while back when there was all of the trouble and there were government bailouts because it was deemed they were just too big to fail. I don't think Elon is going to let that happen. I think he would probably spend every last penny of his billions to make sure that his baby Tesla doesn't ever go away, at least not during his lifetime, right? And I would imagine that somebody else would probably step in and pick up the company anyway, probably would be one of the big three, that would be my guess. So that doesn't really concern me at all, I'm not worried about that. My biggest concern about the Tesla, which isn't really a concern for me, I mentioned earlier, is taking it on long distance trips and having to screw around and wait while it charges or find a charger or maybe even 
having issues not being able to charge because of cold weather or something like that. Again, not a concern for me because I do have gas-powered vehicles. I would take those. So people are going to ask you questions about the car. If you're an introvert and you don't like interaction with people, you're going to have to get used to it. Or just be rude and ignore whoever's trying to talk to you, I guess. Because folks want to know, and it makes sense to me. I've always been curious about the Tesla myself until I actually got one. And I would ask occasionally, you know, how is it? How's it doing? What's it like having to charge your car? Do you save a lot of money? And that's one of the biggest things that I've run into so far is, does it really cost a lot less to drive a Tesla? Well, it cost me four bucks to charge from 50% to 100%. Uh, so yeah, it does cost less. I mean, four bucks, gas down here right now is three something a gallon. So almost one gallon of gas uh, is going to cost me what it charge what it costs me to fill up half a tank, if you will, in the form of electric charge. Now there are also plans out there. I know a lot of the utility companies offer. Uh, plans where you can choose to have free electricity during the night between certain hours oh by the way 319 a gallon right now is what i'm seeing for regular gas right beside me at this gas station over here so anyway there are electric companies that offer plans uh, where you can select free periods if you will free times when you don't have to pay for electricity that would mean of course that you're driving the tesla for free that it doesn't cost you anything. Just make sure if you go for one of those plans that you pick one that suits your lifestyle. Obviously, if, uh, if the peak period that you don't use electricity is during the day, let's say, but someone stays at home that does use electricity, in other words, maybe you have a spouse or significant other that doesn't work, well, choosing that off-peak period for you might not be free for the whole household if you get what i'm saying i think for most people the plans that offer that at night is probably the best way to go that way while you're sleeping your tesla charges by the way you can schedule when your tesla charges so you have it plugged in and then it will kick on and charge during the time that you select which is an awesome feature to the car I love it. Anyway, just wanted to uh, kind of run over that a little bit. If you're an introvert, uh, Tesla may not be the car for you because a lot of people are going to ask you about it just out of curiosity, I think. Leave a comment. Let me know. If you're driving a Tesla, do you find that a lot of people want to ask you questions and things about it? I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.